Welcome back, tech enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the architecture of Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG workflows. Whether you're a developer, architect, technical leader, or a student aspiring to enter the generative AI field, this guide is for you. Let's get started. Retrieval Augmented Generation enhances AI models by integrating external data retrieval mechanisms, enabling more accurate and context-rich responses. Let's explore how to architect an efficient RAG workflow. An effective RAG workflow begins with a well-designed data pipeline. Document ingestion. Collect data from diverse sources like PDFs, websites, or databases. Embedding convert textual data into numerical vectors using models such as BERT or GPT embeddings, allowing the AI to grasp semantic relationships. Indexing store these embeddings in a vector database like FACE or Pinecone for efficient retrieval. Retrieval Transform incoming queries into embeddings to find the most relevant documents in your index. Designing this pipeline efficiently ensures minimal latency and maximizes throughput. An effective retrieval augmented generation pipeline hinges on a well-structured data flow. Let's break down the four key stages that every developer and architect should consider. Document ingestion. First, you need to reliably gather data from diverse sources. Think PDFs, HTML pages, internal knowledge bases, or even real-time API feeds. At this stage, it's crucial to implement connectors and adapters that can handle different file formats and protocols. Consider adding automated scripts that periodically fetch updates, monitor for new documents, and apply basic pre-processing, like stripping out boilerplate text or extracting metadata. By ensuring clean, consistent input data, you set the foundation for accurate retrieval downstream. Embedding. Next, transform raw text into numerical vector representations. Here you'll typically use transformer-based models like BERT, sentence transformers, or GPT-derived embeddings to encode semantic meaning. Developers should pay attention to model selection based on domain specificity and possibly fine-tune the embedding model on domain-relevant data. Also, consider dimension reduction or normalization steps if your vector database has specific constraints. This embedding phase ensures that the system can understand not just what words appear, but the concepts they represent. Indexing. Once you have embeddings, store them efficiently in a vector database such as FACE, Pinecone, or Weaviate. Effective indexing involves choosing the right indexing algorithm and configuration, balancing retrieval speed against memory footprint. For large-scale deployments, you might set up sharding across multiple instances for horizontal scalability. Integrating periodic re-indexing or incremental updates lets you keep your index fresh, capturing newly ingested documents without a full rebuild. This step is crucial to maintain both performance and data relevance. Retrieval. Finally, when a user query arrives, convert it into an embedding using the same model or a compatible one. The vector database then efficiently searches for the most semantically relevant documents, returning results that closely match the user's intent. Here you may implement result re-ranking or apply filters to improve precision. Consider caching frequent queries and leveraging metadata-based filters to reduce latency. The goal is to deliver contextually aligned documents as quickly as possible. By carefully designing and tuning each stage, ingestion, embedding, indexing, and retrieval, you'll achieve a streamlined, robust RAG pipeline. This attention to detail pays off with minimal latency, high throughput, and ultimately, more reliable and accurate responses from your system. To maintain low latency and high performance, implement smart caching strategies. Why cache? Serving frequently requested content from a cache reduces processing time. Balancing act. Implement cache invalidation strategies to keep data fresh and relevant. Tools. Utilize in-memory data stores like Redis or Memcached for efficient caching. Choosing the right deployment strategy is crucial. Serverless deployment pros, high scalability, pay-as-you-go pricing, reduced operational overhead. Cons, potential cold, start latency, less control over the environment. On-premises deployment, pros, complete control over hardware and environment, potentially better for compliance and security. Cons, higher upfront costs, requires maintenance and scaling management. Your choice should align with your organization's specific needs, budget, and scalability requirements. To ensure your system handles heavy loads, stateless microservices, design services to be stateless for easy replication, load balancing, 
Implement load balancers like Ingix or HeyProxy to distribute traffic evenly. Containerization. Use Docker and orchestration tools like Kubernetes for efficient resource management. Auto scaling. Set policies that trigger based on metrics like CPU usage or response times to maintain performance under varying loads. Automation is key for maintaining and updating RAG workflows. Continuous integration or CI. Automatically build and test code changes using tools like Jenkins or GitHub Actions. Continuous deployment or CD seamlessly deploy updates to production, essential for components like embeddings or indexes that require frequent updates. Retraining automation. Set up pipelines to retrain models with new data, ensuring your AI remains accurate and up-to-date. Automation is the backbone of efficient RAG workflows. For developers and architects, integrating your retrieval augmented generation system into a continuous integration, continuous deployment, and MLOps pipeline ensures rapid iteration, reliable updates, and sustained model performance. First, let's talk about continuous integration, or CI. Every time your team commits new code to a shared repository, CI tools like GitHub Actions, Jenkins, or CircleCI can automatically trigger builds and run tests. For RAG, these tests might include validating data, ingestion, scripts, ensuring that your embedding generation code remains consistent and verifying that your retrieval logic hasn't regressed. Next, continuous deployment, or CD, picks up once your code passes all the tests. CD pipelines can seamlessly deploy updated services, embeddings, or indexes into production. For example, when you improve a vector indexing component, the pipeline can automatically roll out changes to your vector database cluster, like Pinecone, VV8, or Feast-based solutions, or deploy new microservices that handle retrieval requests. With infrastructure as code approaches in tools like Terraform or Helm charts for Kubernetes, you can ensure consistent, repeatable deployments. But RAG systems rely heavily on the underlying AI models and continuously evolving datasets. This is where MLOPS comes into play, a practice specifically designed for machine learning pipelines. Unlike standard CI CD, MLOPS handles the entire model lifecycle. From data versioning, model training, and validation to serving updated models in production. For RAG, MLOps ensures your models, embeddings, and indexes stay accurate as new documents arrive. When fresh data is ingested, the MLOps pipeline can kick off an automated retraining process. It updates embeddings based on the latest corpus, fine-tunes the retrieval model if necessary, and publishes the updated model artifacts to a model registry like MLflow. By combining CI CD with MLOps, you create a robust environment where code quality, infrastructure stability, and model performance are continuously monitored and improved. This approach drastically reduces manual interventions accelerates deployment cycles, and ensures that your RAG workflow is always at its best, delivering fresh and relevant responses to end users. In the next section, we'll explore methods for evaluating and benchmarking your RAG system's performance, ensuring your continuous improvements produce tangible, measurable results. Before we wrap up, here are some best practices. Monitor performance. Use tools like Prometheus and Grafana to track system health. Ensure security. Implement robust authentication, authorization, and data encryption. Optimize queries. 
fine-tune search parameters and consider approximate nearest neighbor algorithms for faster results. Stay updated. Regularly update models and dependencies to leverage the latest advancements in AI technology. That's a wrap on architecting an efficient and scalable RAG workflow. Implementing these strategies will enhance your AI system's performance and reliability. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Have questions or topics you'd like us to cover? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and keep innovating. Like if you're excited, subscribe for more deep dives into cutting edge AI, and share this video with anyone who's ready to take control of their data future. The revolution starts now. Will you be part of it? Trust me and trust me can make me.